deeper issues. I need to go. I need to go join an anonymous group for ghosts now. <laughs> He'll be able to help you, and you might find something useful in there. Oh goody, we're going to find a screwdriver and some al dente noodles. Cause we're freaking hungry, and we want some noodles. Well, that's it for the talking mongrel. Ah, do. Ooh, burn, Sokuya! So much burn! Go, you, you go! You actually fought back for once, man. I'll give you props for that. I will give you props for that, good sir. Good show, old boy, good show. He saunters off towards the staircase. <laughs> he pirouettes in a fantastic fashion towards the staircase and then falls to his doom. No! Sexiness! Don't go! Continue. What a dreadfully obnoxious man! Look who's talking. I thought he would never shut up. Look who's talking yet again. Cause you know, you, you know exactly when to shut up, Sakuya. That's why you're a good person. He gave, he gave us some good advice, right? We should be grateful. Well, more so he should be grateful because you're quite grateful, Ryota. Anyway, I don't think we'll find anything else here. But, 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 but we didn't do any investigating, right? How is it? We didn't even look at the round desk and stuff. We just saw a box and we were like, well, it looks like Roscoe's head isn't here anymore, so obviously there's no more clues to be found. Forget the bloody bird wing prints over there, let's just leave. There are no more clues in this room. Indeed. Hmm. Where should we head next? Oh my gosh! Did you get that, Ryota? <gasps> head! And... and... where should we head? And we found... Roscuro's head in a box! I made a body! Uh, uh, I think I like having friends. Ry Ryota, you're my best friend now. I've truly learned the meaning of friendship. Uh, and rainbows! Rainbows! Oh. I doubt we would go amiss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, or by investigating the wall outside. Uh, wall? Uh, oh, you mean the wall surrounding the school. I thought you meant the wall as in the hallway. Yes, let us investigate the crappy artwork we worked on last class. Let us look at the amazing stick figure drawings of Ryota and class. Right. Let us go forward and onward and upward and sideways. Let's go to the office first. Maybe this one guy will be able to help us. Help us out or die! That's the best way. Cake or death. The maintenance office. In other words, the repairman shop. The repairman shop! We're going to the repairman shop! Hooray! I'm a girl, so I love to go shopping! Girlfriend! Sakuya! I! And then he gets an entire sentence for I because he is that self important poofy tail. Doubt we will find anything useful there. Well, let us not make assumptions before we go there, but I do agree with you, Sakuya. This investigation is going nowhere. You just said to go, right? I doubt the integrity of his advice. Oh, you're just too high and mighty up on your golden pedestal made of chocolate to give a crap about what you you thinks. <sighs> Jeez. Is that anything to say about your own brother? You should be nicer to your family. At least you have a family, Sokuya. Poor Ryota lost his mumsy. That was his only family in the world. Poor Ryota. I just kiss you on the forehead. My family! Do you mock me? That filthy, blotted mongrel is no relation to me. Since when did you turn into Draco Malfoy? Whoa, calm down! I guess his elitism is still running business as usual. Oh man, his elitism has started its own business? 
Well, we're certainly not doing any business with them. We want them to go bankrupt and stuff. Because elitism is a bad thing. We don't have time to waste, which is why we've wasted all this time in the hallway. We should hurry. Indeed, we should. <laughs> the maintenance room is in the corner of the main building on the ground floor, right? And shouldn't you have already known that, y Ryota? Why did we have to explain this to Sakuya? Okay, let us go and do. Uh, either we knocked on the door or Ryota and Sakuya now have peg legs. I want to go as peg legs because I really want them to be pirates. Excuse us! Oh man, this room! It's the ultimate bachelor pad! It's got a refrigerator, TV, which you can watch all the channels on, and doors. Doors are important. Doors are a necessity. For without doors, we would basically be trapped in rooms. And then what would we do? We would all have to be like the Kool-Aid Man. And we would have to jump through walls going, Oh yeah! And really, who wants to do that? Am I right? Right. What is this? This doesn't look very educational. Oh, well... Uh... Well, most people don't go into the maintenance rooms to find education, Sakuya, unless they're training to be a janitor, or maybe a superhero who happens to disguise as a janitor. There are many options. Many. There are many jobs at maintenance. You. You can be a janitor. Somebody who dresses up as a janitor to hide their secret identity. You can be the class pet. I don't know. Janitor, you. We want you. The handyman pretty much lives here, I think. Uh, I would assume so. Either that, or he has made himself very comfortable here. <gasps> Hobo Steve! I mean, Mr. One! I can't remember what voice I gave you! So, um... One second. A dove, and one more... Oh, man. One more. One day more. Another day, another destiny. Mr. One! Hello! How do you do, my friend? How do you do? Oh, my gosh. Childhood memories. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear the alarm? Uh, didn't you hear the alarm? Good sir, you were not in the gymnasium. I'm Ryota, and this is Sakuya. Wow, that, that's a good answer to his question. What are you doing here? Well, my name's Roskiro. Hi. <laughs> uh, that's totally what I'm going to say next time I'm sneaking into a museum to steal a priceless artifact. Oops. I said a bad thing to erase that from your mind. I have never done such a thing. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. Uh, not really. We, we He kind of just said... Well, you guys probably shouldn't leave the room, but if I'm... <laughs> screw that. You just do whatever you want. So it wasn't really permission so much as blind ignorance, and he could get in a lot of trouble for this. Although, he's in the lab right now, so all the, all the other teachers will be like, Well, he was in the lab. He has nothing to do with this. Didn't you hear the alarm? Oh, man! So clear! Telepathic thick links between you and me, Huggles. That is the first Huggles you have gotten. No panic, no noise, and no leaving. That's what I do here. So, so if the school was burning down, you would just sit your butt right here. Because you're lazy. Good show. Whoa! Somehow, he seems really cool. Man crush, ahoy! You mean you're too lazy to go to the gymnasium? <laughs> that totally slurred that entire thing. Good reading. Good reading. 
Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find your class there. No! No, good sir! You are not pushing us out of here! We are going to get some freaking answers for once in this freaking game! Because we haven't gotten freaking answers for, like, ever! And so many confusing stuff has happened, I just want answers! We are going to tie you to a chair, sit you under this light, and we'll shine this light in your face. We'll be like, where were you February 24th or whatever date this game takes place in? Whatever. Continue. No, we're not. Do you mean to interfere with us? Wretched fool. Foolish fools doing foolishly foolish things. A Francisco von Karma? Phoenix right reference, yes. Um, you just said we should ask for your help. Oh yes, we said the magic word. Now he will faint just at the sound of Yuya's name and then we'll have to fan him awake. Because just the name of Yuya causes the faint of heart to faint. And this guy looks pretty faint of heart. And pretty cheeky. Cheeky cheeky. Cute guy. Sakazaki Yuya. Oh yes, Sakazaki Yuya. Sakazaki you in the face! Yes, him. We decided to honor his request by coming all the way over here. Yes, we came all the way over here, and our poor feetsies hurt. What will you do to repay us for our poor hurted feetsies, good sir? Do you intend to stop us now? Don't stop us now. We're having such a good time. We're having a ball. Sakuya, where the heck are your manners? He doesn't have them. Uh, sorry, he transferred from overseas, and his Japanese isn't too great. Uh, I swear I'm not telling a lie. Please don't see through my lie. You're so cool. He certainly has more bark than I imagine he has bite. Oh, believe me, I don't think he has any bite since birds really don't have teeth. Although I can imagine that it wouldn't feel especially great to be pecked at or chomped at by a bird. So continue. Very well, come in. I thought we already were in. Okay, now we're officially inside. <gasps> Guitar riffs! Coolio! What did you say you gentlemen were investigating? Oh, um, was it with the murder? Have you not heard of this? Did you not hear the panicking and wailing from... Okay, whatevs. Two things. The murder of Aoi's Roskiro and the mysterious wall outside. Yes, that mysterious wall and the murder of me. My merdell. You've been in here the whole time, right? What did you see? What did you see? Shake him about frantically. I want answers, damn it! Do you know what he's talking about? Yes, I got an idea from Mr. Sakazaki. Of it. He got an idea of it from Mr. Sakazaki. In other words, you only know what you have heard from that mongrel. Indeed. That was the idea. Useless. Well, well, to be fair, Yuya might have been lying to us and he might tell us more stuff. Who knows, he might be an easier nut to crack. Or should I say, egg? Oh, bird puns. I know plenty about the school itself, though. Ooh, and mysteries about the school do tell, good sir. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Now it's just quite a job, indeed. Maybe you know what the big grey wall outside is then? Nope. Oh, screw you, old man! We wanted freaking answers and you said you knew all this stuff about the school and you don't know shit! You saw this wretch! Sakuya, calm down! Though, I'm not sure there's anything we can learn here right now. Yay! We learned absolutely nothing! This investigation is going nowhere! 
Haha, <laughs> let us adjourn to the fireside and smoke our pipe and fiddle our, with our violin. Uh, and eventually the answer will come to us, despite the fact that we have no clues. Oh wait! Mr. One, we could use your computer? <gasps> His clickety clackety machine! We could go on the internets and play some Scrabble or some Farmville. I really hate Farmville, by the way. <laughs> play freaking Harvest Moon, darn it. It's a much better game. And it's about farming. And it's good. Maybe we can find out what's going on outside. Yes, maybe we can. Sadly not. Boo! Everything's been cut off since this morning. Well, didn't you think that was the least bit suspicious? At all? Really? Even the telephone wires, eh? This is too thorough! Well, 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 Sakuya, we don't need their dumb old telephone wires. All we need is two tin cans and a very freaking long string, and we will have a telephone that we can use all around the school, and you and Ryota can run around with tin cans to your ears. It'll be great. You won't r look ridiculous in the least bit. Y you'll just look so dignified as you run through the hole in with your tin can to your ear. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I can't think of any reason why they'd need to cut communication systems off if it were some sort of storm protection. Man, that was a long sentence. Ellipses. This has been a wild goose chase then. Birds! Ch and chasing the gooses. A complete waste of time. Oh, yeah, I kind of agree with Sakuya. Let us go, Kawara. Wait, I have a bright and massive piece of information for you. Wow, bright and massive! This better be good, because you haven't really given us anything. <laughs> bright and massive? Rah! Ugh. What? If you get stuck, try the headmaster's office. I've been almost everywhere in this school, but never there. Oh. Ooh. You in trouble, principal. You are looking very mightily suspicious, my good sir. You might be able to find something out about that wall if you check in there. Yes! Yes, Mr. One, we will go and do. Of course! The headmaster did not speak to us in person in the gym, and Duchy were yelling at the monitor the entire time, like he would ac could actually hear you or something. If he was broadcasting from his office, then what? Then he might still be in there! Well, well first off, Congratulations, Ryota and Sokuya. Your relationship, your bromance of sort, has gone so far that you are now finishing each other's sentences, so bravo for you, but more so, what a brilliant deduction. Because he was broadcasting in his office means that he's in his office. Brilliant. Brilliant. Two gold stars, three gold stars, four gold stars, and that's all you get. I'm not giving that shit five. Asking him certainly seems like the best way to get some solid information. Not liquid information, not gaseous information, not plasma information, but freaking rock solid information made out of delicious rock candy. We should try that. If you need a break later on, feel free to come back and rest. Oh yes, good sir, we will come and do. Anyone Mr. Sakazaki sent is trustworthy. Indeed! We have gained Mr. One's trust. I'll get you some notes. Oh my gosh! He's going to be our secretary! Wear something sexy, damn it. If you find anything, you can write it down. You never know what could happen in a situation like this, and you don't want to forget anything. Indeed, mustn't forget. Mustn't forget. We must take no amnesia potion like that Don Daniel. About saving. Unlike in the Otome route, bad boys love only lets you save at certain locations. 
You may only save in between chapters and in the maintenance office, so be careful. And careful I should be, tips narrator person. Save your progress. Indeed, I shall do that now.